Look, Justin, what's that? Ah, it's a bird! A bird made of stone! How do we beat a rock bird? We can't use electric. Uh, go with the puffy kick. Fire orb, that looks dangerous. Uh, how about you not do that? I and mean, we just talk about this. V slash and puffy kick should do good damage. Alright, 30 damage, I'll take it. Get him, Justin. Good old V slash. Ooh, 52 is really nice. Alright, Sue, I'm gonna have you go for the critical. Get that sweet, sweet cancel. Alright, we didn't get the cancel because Justin was staggering it. Oh, wow, Rockbird, it's over. You're at 85 health. Oh, no, not the fire orb, it hurts. Ow, that hurt. Oh, wow, this thing is almost dead. Sue, get the finish here. Puffy kick this fool. Puffy kick to oblivion. It might not kill, but do it. It didn't kill, but you're basically dead. We'll V-slash to oblivion. Goodbye. Never mind. Now, goodbye. V -slash. Be gone. Whew. That was insanely easy. All right. Big win for us. Love it. Got lots of gold from that and XP. What was that? That wasn't there when we came. Yeah, that guy Mullen said there was a trap. I think that was it. It doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. If that wasn't it, <laughs> that was a pathetically easy trap. I can't believe it. They defeated the Rockbird too. <laughs> Colonel Mullen? Those guys are amazing. They managed to even escape me. Colonel Mullen? Um, shouldn't we chase them? Having a little information about the Angelo civilization get out will not undermine our plans let him go i respect his recklessness what was the name of that boy he said it was justin justin quite the character he is i had fun for the first time in a while <laughs> i love that laughing portrait that mullen has all right we got away <laughs> it wasn't a dream i did have a great adventure just wait a sec isn't it too soon to run away it's evening already let's go back to parm all right that happened that rock bird didn't pose a challenge at all. Dude, I like Mullen. Mullen's a really cool character. So I think NPC dialogue- Oh, you're gone! Wow, okay. Why are you dressed like that? Completely against army regulations? You can get a court-martial. Hey, sir, we're not soldiers, don't you understand? What's that thing on your head? You are monsters after all. You can't fool me. I'm not about to be dumb in by you. Come at me. Okay. What is it? Something seems to be happening in the ruins. What should I do? Then get going. You ought to go check in with your own two eyes. Yes, certainly. But no, I can't. I was told to stay here. Being here is my job. Colonel Mullen can't make a mistake. At least I don't think so. Colonel Mullen doesn't make any mistakes. What's wrong? Such a gloomy face. When a kid has such a face, I know. Did you break something? Well, sorta. I understand. I didn't see anything. I didn't even see any children. Of course, I didn't hear anything. Sir, don't be quite so indulgent. But an understanding adult is appealing. Hey, young miss, you got me. Now go, quickly. You can't look down on those three just because they're women. Those three really are capable. They were always at the top of the class at the academy. They really are proud. Uh, they say you can't judge a book by its cover. Guess that's right. But ever since Colonel Mullen picked up Lieutenant Lean as a de Kong, things have gotten worse. Yeah, I'm sure they're just raging with jealousy, you know? Talk to this guy. Sergeants Nanasaki and Mio have just perfect faces too. It's just that problem. Even if they have pretty faces with such twisted personalities, they are just hopeless. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, you two, don't be wandering around. Come on, go home. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, those sergeants are real slave drivers, so I'm really in a bind. Seems like I'm more like a handyman than a soldier. I even see hallucinations. Now I've got to go with Gaunts to go shopping for the sergeants. Gaunts can't carry it all this time, so I have to go too. Boy, they- yeah, same dialogue. Okay. What's up? That dressmaker's late. Now I'm going to be late in getting her dressed to Sergeant Nana. 
I don't have time for this. Clean shop, take out trash, get coffee. My schedule's just full. So Gones are this so Gones, are those women who ripped up the leather making you go on errands? Sue, so you gotta understand, my creed is to do my utmost in any job I'm given. Job I'm given, words. Deliver address to Sergeant Nana, go shopping shopping words, shopping for Sergeant Saki, and then for Sergeant Mio. Hey, that commotion in the ruins, did something happen? You just noticed that? Alright then. I feel bad for anyone who has to work for those sergeants. Ah, so boring. Nothing to do. All right, same dialogue. Up, uh, goodbye. Back to Parm we go. I guess there's nothing like an adventure to make you hungry. Come on, let's go home. New NPC dialogue. It's time. When I was about your age, I was already working in the mine. Times have changed for the better. Working in the mines is tough. Uh, I might have read this. I felt like I was gonna drop myself a few times, but every time your dad would come and help me carry coal. My dad. Oh no, I didn't read that. Say, Justin, have you seen my boy? Yeah, this is the same. I read that already. Oh no, oh, everyone is different. Maybe North Parm would have different dialogues. These are all the same. I really wish there was a way in RPGs to know if you read dialogue or not. Hey, okay, good, good. Are there any houses in South Parm? Because if there are, I definitely didn't go in any of them. Oh, I did not mean to leave. Pretty sure there's no houses, just ticket gates. Ticket station area. There's a house one. Did I go to house one? Well, I'm getting to the age where I'll think about marriage. You'll think, you think I'll find someone? Hey, don't they call a woman like you go fish or something? You're so silly, Justin. Don't you mean old maid? Yes, yes, I'm a late bloomer. Please don't say anything like late bloomer in front of my daughter. It bothers her. Uh, too late. <laughs> Justin, you are... You are bad. Hello, Justin and Sue. You two going out again today? Oh, yes, Puffy too. I thought you were a ribbon. <laughs> Puffy's always with me, right Puffy? Puffy does look like a ribbon. Even if I know better, Puffy still looks like a ribbon. Puffy is just so cute. Puffy must be saying that you are quite a beauty too. Oh, Puffy appreciates beauty in people too. When I see Puffy, I get so jealous. I want a pet too. I want a Puffy. You can't have Puffy. I want a Puffy for myself. I mean, my dad found Puffy. How did Sue get Puffy? And not me. Uh, I think South Parm has no one. I want to double check if North Parm has any new dialogue. Now, dialogue's the same. You sure dialogue? I think dialogue changes before you leave for Lek Mines. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, hang on. That's why I said I didn't want to play on Seek. You should have played something else. Heard you beat Gaunt. Congratulations, Justin. Of course I did. But you know Gaunt is saying that game was a draw. I guess he doesn't want to admit defeat. I've been seeking for so long and still haven't been found by anybody. Being it in hide and seek is tough. Alright, that's the same dialogue. How are these kids still playing hide and seek? Is the inventor... Alright. We're going to go back to the Seagull restaurant. Dialogue has not changed. Oh, Gaunt, what's up? Hey, Justin, heard you went to the museum. What'd you have to go there for? Whatever doesn't matter. What's it to you, Gaunt? I just went to say hello to the curator there. <laughs> sure. You guys doing anything interesting? If so, let me in on it. Oh, no way. You think maybe we should tell you? Nah, we'll just keep it a secret. Justin, I'm amazed you don't get bored to death going to the museum all the time like that. When I go there, it's just so boring, it puts me to sleep. But Goose, you look pretty bored and sleepy no matter where you go. Yeah, I've even seen Goose fall asleep standing on his feet. I've never fallen asleep standing on my feet. I've stood up while sleeping, though. Oh yeah, maybe it was someone else. Wait, isn't that the same thing? I just saw you just going into the museum. Did something interesting happen? Keeping close tabs on me, eh? Maybe you want to come with me or something. No way, Justin. I'd never be caught dead with you. You're out of my fashion. Way out of fashion, my goodness. That's what you're worried about? Your, your tooth needs to go. Nobody's gonna need adventurers anymore. It's gonna be soldiers or them engineers. Alright. 
let's head back to this eagle restaurant. We probably could have talked to Gaunt's buff after the museum, but I didn't. It's fine though. Say, say, Justin, it's all great going to see Liete and everything, but do you know how to get to the new continent? Of course I know. We need to get on the ship. Okay, then how do we get them to let us on the ship? Uh, well, we just... I know we'll just ask Mom. She should know. Welcome home, Justin and Sue. Dinner's ready. Wash your hands and come along. Uh, I'm hungry. Say, Mom, how can we get on a ship to the new continent? What is this all of a sudden? Well, I always used to go back and forth on my own ship. That's right, you used to be Lily the Skull, right? Well, if you want to know about ships, why don't you go to the port? That's it, that's one way to do it. Come on, Sue, we're going to the port tomorrow. New continent is Valencia, right? Which is bigger. Valencia and Messina, where Parm is. Huh, well, there's nothing on the other side of the end of the world. Hey, I know, the end of the world is where the world ends on the new continent, right? Huh, but you know, there's something I don't quite understand. Is there really an end of the world? Anyway, Justin, today you're dirtier than usual. What exactly were you playing? Excavating ruins. Not playing. With an introduction from the curator, we went to the salt ruins, doing unsci- doing scientific research. I love the way Justin spells that. Scientific, my goodness. Are you doing scientific research? <laughs> now that's funny. What's so funny? Oh, I wonder what scientific research means anyway. <laughs> I love Justin. Say, Justin, what do you think of the end of the world is like? We'll never know if we don't go. Anyway, let's go to the port tomorrow. Now that you mention it, the curator praised you highly. He said you were being very good. Yes, now he might forgive us for... Oops, now I did it. Hey Justin, I didn't hear anything about that. What exactly did you do? Oh well, you're so hopeless. Tomorrow I'll go apologize to the curator myself. But you have to go apologize to yourself too, okay? Understand, Justin? That was delicious and full. Way to get to the new continent? We'll try to find one starting tomorrow, right Justin? On it. Yes, yes, good morning. Got my first aid kit. Alright, we should stash some stuff. Since we're home. We are going to stash... Toy bow for now. The dress shoes. And these. And the wood pole. Since I'm using the sword and the axe. Yeah. Alright, Sue, so we're working on level 3, level 7 for Mace. I think is what we should start with. Aren't you back a little early? Weren't you going to the port to ask? Let's save our game really quick. Check it sitting on my phone. Let's go to the harbor, Justin. Aren't we gonna ask about the ship? Uh, anyone new? Any new dialogue over here? Justin, haven't seen you in a while. Pretty soon I'm gonna see that king who likes sting. That king is not a king who likes to eat. I think I read this. Flyers. I told Marie or Pippi about that I model for a painting, wonder what they'd say. I stopped you, Sue, you're a model too, since so it's still. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Painter Man, I hope this is good enough. <laughs> Have you drawn me cute enough? Show me, Mr. Painter Man. <laughs> hey, what is this? It doesn't look like me at all. Of course it does. See, it has all three eyes, two noses, and two mouths. Ugh, how'd this happen? Anyway, you gotta do it over. Do it over. That's good. Ouch, Sue, you have a sharp tongue. I'm just tuckered out. Until you could draw me as cute as the real thing, you have to do it over. Okay, that happened. Are Marie and it be anywhere? Oh, battery's dead. We should probably just wrap up here. My Joy-Cons are not going to let me stream any longer since they died. But, um... I think we're just going to wrap up here, chat? Yeah, I think we'll just have to wrap up here. So it's a little shorter than three hours, which is not what I wanted. But, like, my Joy-Cons are dead. And I don't have a Pro Controller on me. So we are just gonna have to wrap it up here. But yeah. I think this was a good find for Grandia stream. But yeah. Those of you watching on YouTube, hope you all enjoyed. Grandia is a ton of fun. I love this game so much. Which is no secret. I talk about it all the time. But it's a great 
game. I love it. It's so great. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's amazing. A lot of people say, oh, it looks... Oh, oh my goodness. That's gonna cost a fortune. But, um... A lot of people say the game is old and dated, but, like, I, I feel like the game is aged beautifully. It has some things that show its age, but I think it's aged beautifully regardless. So, uh... I definitely think you should give it a try if you haven't already. So, uh, you know... Definitely play the game, but yeah. We'll play more Grandia on Tuesday. I'm gonna do Scarlet Nexus on Monday. So we'll do more Grandia on Tuesday. Unless something changes my mind and I'm like, I wanna play Grandia. But I feel like we're gonna do Scarlet Nexus on Monday and then Tuesday will be more Grandia. So can't wait for that. But yeah, when we come back next time, we'll start looking for ways to get our steamer pass. And then we'll head to the Lek Mines after that. Probably do some NPC rounds before the pass. We'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.